just wanted to make a quick video about the train cable I made. Uh, maybe, maybe you'll get some ideas from it or whatever. Uh, but this is basically my layout. See, I bought a four by eight sheet of plywood. I would say four by eight, and uh, this is how I cut it generally. The uh, the top ones, that's I cut four inch, a four inch strip, four inch strip, and then I went two and a quarter, two and a quarter. This is my main train table piece. And then I just use this for uh, to cut the legs, which you'll see later. This is an exact laid out. It was just a generality. Uh, but as you can see, here's my main board for the train table. And I think it looks pretty good. Obviously, it's almost done. Uh, four coats of polyurethane. And this is what I did with the boards. I basically I told you I cut a four inch strip. And I just took the four inch strips and made a big frame and then I took the two and a quarter strips and made a little frame and then I basically just put the little frame inside the big frame and I glued them and uh, nailed them together that's uh, you could just use a two by two across the middle probably doesn't even need that but I mean three quarter inch plywood is I, I used uh, oak basically oak and oak plywood and the other two finished plywoods I had to choose from were all about the same price, about 40 bucks. So that's what I used. Maybe, I don't know if you've got some extra wood you want to lay around or if you want to 2x4 it and dado it or whatever, but we wanted a lip. So we'll put the, we'll put the uh, plywood here and it'll be a little lip. And I alternated the edges. Obviously a nice diagonal would have been wonderful. But what I did instead was I got this one going this way. And you can't quite see there. Let's try this one. There we go. I can see that one. This one, see this one's here, and that one's going that way. We've got some different uh, joining angles. And then uh, you'll see the legs in a minute. Ideally, then, the legs go back again like this way. So there's be a three things in the corner. Like I said, it's three-quarter inch plywood. That's what you put in your home. This is going to be freaking strong, I'm pretty sure of it, so there's that. Um, so I put that all together. Obviously this top is going to lay, it's going to set right into this, right onto here. And these are my legs. And basically what I did there, as you can see, I just did one piece, and this one has to be longer, obviously, uh, about three quarter inches longer than this piece. So we've got a corner. And then I put a two by two just here to totally make it strong as heck. I cut them on a, uh, they're not they're not square. You could cut square. We thought about it, but I just thought it looked a little ne neater if it was a triangle and triangles are strong. And then uh, what I did, I'm gonna use some bolts. You'll see it in a minute, but I uh, drilled the hole through there. And that's, you know, the hole goes through there. And the hole goes through there. This is upside down but they're gonna bolt on like that again this that's upside down but uh, there's that for now uh, tell you what one thing I want to do I want to show you it's something I kind of learned myself uh, polyurethane like I said this one has four coats and we did the uh, what was it called not gloss uh, was it matte or I don't know it's not gloss and still I think it looks great let me show the other side hold on oh, I can't hold this phone hold on see this one it looks good don't get me wrong but it just doesn't have quite the gloss of the other one that's I mean, let's see all I did is I flipped it over and I didn't quite sand it as nice and I only put two coats compared to the four so uh, the, the can says three coats, but I knew it. It just needed a fourth. All right. So I put the legs on. See, I countersunk the buff bolt holes. We got a bolt washer. We got a bolt. We got, well, we got a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. And that's how I attached them. I think that's all going to be pretty darn strong. You can see it all together. I'm about to flip it over. All right. See you on the flip flop. 
That was just a small detail. I forgot to mention that uh, I used the bolts because we want to take the legs off if ever we want to store it or we need to move it from room to room. Obviously, you could attach the legs permanently. Probably would be easier. And uh, probably could have done some sort of screw that you didn't see there, but I think the bolts look cool. I like bolts. <laughs> That's all for that. All right, here's our finished train table. The board is 35 by 50, so you have to add three, you know, three quarters. So it's actually 35 and three quarters by 50 and three quarters. And you can see here's our edges and our bolts and our legs. And you can see fine craftsmanship. I did it. The board was 40 bucks. Plus some supplies and uh, polyurethane. Oh, I used, yeah, I was just, it was oak board with, uh, I stained it. Red mahogany. Red mahogany. That's what we did. And then four coats of polyurethane on the top. And we did non shiny, but kind of almost wish I did shiny because it's kind of shiny. And I wish it was really shiny, but they show it shows imperfections. Not that there's any of those. All right, well. It was fun to do. Uh, obviously, you got to go to Home Depot or whatever. For, that takes some time, and took me I don't know, what, four, six, eight hours to cut all the wood, and then uh, you know, obviously the staining, and then that's just you know how that goes. You stain, you wait eight hours. <laughs> you polyurethane, you wait eight hours. You flip the board over, you get the point. Anyway, we had some fun. Uh, Squiggle Monster got to help a little bit when the fumes weren't too bad. <laughs> okay, you guys all have fun.